The Rainbow Laces campaign was set up by Stonewall and began in 2013. The support spreads from the Premier League all the way to grassroots, with just under 200,000 people back in the movement. As a club, I think it's really, really crucial we back the Rainbow Laces campaign. You see today, all the boys out there from all three teams wearing them. We just want to let, let people know the club is open for all. It's here, competitive football club, nothing else, no discrimination against anyone. And yes, just to give everyone the same opportunity to enjoy playing football. 63% of fans state more should be done to make LGBT people feel accepted in sport. So should more be done in an attempt to stop homophobic abuse within the game? At a Champions League match a few weeks ago, this guy, because they relocate people for the game, and this guy was sat around just shouting, faggot, faggot, the referee. And one of the stewards came down and said, you say that one more time and I'll throw you out. And he was effing and blinding. And she, and she said, no, I'm serious. If you, you, either you stop saying that and don't stop swearing at me. You're out. And that's, that's, that's the attitude in most grounds. I think Brighton have had a problem because other away fans have been talking about we can see does your boyfriend know you're here which is more pathetic really it says something about their lack of imagination research from insight agency icm unlimited claims that 72 percent of fans have heard homophobic abuse when they're at a game lots of we have thousands of people followers on twitter and things some and we don't we actually don't get much abuse really i'm dead surprised we get very we get sarky comments but nothing like the sort of hatred that some clubs got, like Arsenal get a lot. A BBC Five Live survey claims 8% of fans would stop supporting their team if one of their players came up, whilst others on social media disagreed with clubs giving their page a rainbow makeover. But homophobia within football is decreasing and the number of anti-homophobic campaigns are rising, although they say they still have a lot of work to do until they reach their goal. Cameron Waters, Keys News.